Hello, everyone. Thank you for your interest in Viterbo University's dietetic internship. In this video, I'm going to walk you through our different tracks and what you can expect from our internship program. So we offer three tracks for our dietetic internship. The first track is the dietetic internship alone. So if you have your master's degree from somewhere else with your DPD verification statement, you would complete this track. You can complete it here in La Crosse, where Viterbo is located, or anywhere else within the United States or its territories. We also offer some international experiences. Um, you will complete 1,400 clinical hours, 28 total credits, and the tuition is 17,920 hours. Track two is a dietetic internship plus a non-thesis master's. So this is our clinical focus where you'll do 40 hours a week of clinical and you don't do a research project for your master's, but instead you take graduate level courses for your master's degree. This one can also be completed in La Crosse or anywhere within the United States and its territories. We also have some international experiences, um, primarily uh, in Spain right now. And so for this one, you would also complete 1,400 hours. There's 46 credits and the to total tuition is $29,440. Our last track is track three. This is the dietetic internship with a thesis master's. So with this track, you do 32 hours a week of clinical hours, and that allows you one day a week to focus on your thesis research project. This has to be completed outside of La Crosse, but it can be completed anywhere within the United States or its territories, as well as some international experiences that are available. And this is 1,024 hours. Total credits for this um, is 40. There's a few less credits because you're taking less credits for your clinical hours. And tuition is $25,600. We have a clinical placement coordinator, Jamie Weber. So what makes our program unique is that even though you can complete your rotations anywhere in the United States, you do not have to find your own sites. We do all of that hard work for you. So once you're accepted into our program, Jamie will reach out to you and see where you want to do your rotations geographically. So do you want to do them in Wisconsin, Minnesota, California, Colorado, right? <laughs> Wherever it may be. And then as well as what you're interested in. So do you want to make sure you get sports nutrition? Do you want to make sure you get um, peds, oncology, et cetera? And she will find the site that best fits your needs. You do not have to find your own sites and you do not have to have your sites identified before you're accepted into our program. We do all of that hard work for you. So let's dive a little bit deeper into what track one or the dietetic internship alone looks like. This is 28 credits over 10 months, and you can be placed anywhere. Remember, we do this for you, and it's 1,400 clinical hours total. Phase one is what we lovingly call boot camp. It gets you ready for your rotations. This is an eight-week course completely online that starts um, the second half of the summer, so the, the end of June, beginning of July. You have um, an MNT as well as community-focused um, lectures. You have ergo case studies. And the nice thing about ergo is that it's similar to the Epic um, charting system, if you've ever worked with that. And it really gets you ready for seeing patients, reviewing medical charts and writing notes. We also have online simulation labs to get you ready for tube feeding placements, um, those sorts of things. And for the community portion, we orient you to the different facilities, public policy, motivational interviewing, um, intensive training. We have tours of WIC, um, how to complete health screenings like um, blood pressure checks or um, blood glucose checks, those sorts of things. So we really make sure that you're ready to hit the ground running for your rotations. Phase two is going to be your community rotation. This is 16 weeks and we generally do put you at two different sites for eight weeks each. Although if you're like, you know what, I love sports nutrition, that's all I want to do, you can do a 16-week purely sports nutrition or purely WIC, um, but we do encourage you to, to do two different sites just so you can kind of get a feel for the different options. You'll do 40 hours a week, Monday through Friday, 
And I have some lists of site options here. Um, we have eating disorder, inpatient, as well as outpatient, WIC clinics, corporate wellness, sports nutrition is a big one. We work with D1 as well as um, professional um, sports teams for these, Minnesota Vikings, um, the Brewers. Uh, we work with Louisville, um, all sorts of, of great sports teams. Um, you also have the option to do a final rotation in Spain and work with professional athletes there. Um, might work at a grocery store, private practice, lots of different options. Phase three is your MNT and your food service rotation. We combine these two because generally um, where you're doing your MNT at like a, uh, you know, a hospital inpatient or outpatient, they generally also have uh, food service. So we combine those two. Again, 16 week rotation, we generally do two different sites for eight weeks each. Although um, if you have unique circumstance, we could do 16 weeks at just one site. 40 hours a week, we generally do 32 hours MNT, eight hours food service. So four days a week of MNT and one day a week of food service. And you can see the options that we have here. Um, we have inpatient, outpatient, long-term care. Maybe you want us to check out telehealth. Private practice is an option as well. So lots of different opportunities here. And that's it for track one dietetic internship alone. So moving into track two, this is our dietetic internship with the non-thesis masters. This is our clinical focus. It's gonna be very similar to track one, but we're going to have those master's courses. So this is 46 credits total over 14 months. All of your master's courses are completed online, so you can be placed anywhere. And you'll also get 1400 hours with track two. So phase one is similar to track one, where you do your online boot camp and we get you ready and rearing to go for your um, rotations. You use the ergo, which is just like epic. So you're ready to know how to read medical charts as well as how to write notes. You have a lecture series for MNT and community. And we also introduce you to resources in the community as well, food banks, et cetera. But because you're also doing um, your master's with track two, you'll also do an online master's elective course that first summer as well. And we want you to pick an elective based off of your emphasis or your interest. So we have advanced sports nutrition, nutrition and inflammation, systems approach to obesity prevention, nutrigenomics, um, just to name a few examples within the nutrition realm. And then you also could choose electives from our mental health counseling program or our healthcare management program within the MBA. Maybe you're really interested in eating disorders and want to expand your counseling experience, or maybe you're really interested in the management realm and want to take something there. Phase two, just like um, your, uh, your track one is going to be your community rotation, 16 weeks. Um, we generally do two sites, eight weeks each. Although again, if you're like really want to do only sports nutrition, you could do a 16 week rotation just in sports nutrition. This is 40 hours a week. And I have some examples again of, of sites. Um, we have a lot of eating disorder, inpatient, outpatient options, WIC clinics, grocery stores, corporate wellness. We work with D1 as well as professional sports teams for rotations, Minnesota Vikings, um, Milwaukee Brewers, Phoenix Suns. You can do a final rotation in Spain and work with Spanish um, Olympic athletes. So lots of different options there. Phase three is MNT and food service. And again, we combine these two because you generally are going to do your MNT rotation at a hospital where they'll also have food service available. Just like community, it's a 16 week rotation. We generally do two sites for eight weeks each. But again, if you have a unique situation, you could do 16 weeks just at one location. And it's 40 hours a week as well. Generally, it looks like 32 hours a week of MNT and eight hours a week of food service. So four days a week of MNT, one day a week of food service. And we have lots of different site options depending on what you're interested in, inpatient, outpatient, long-term care, telehealth, private practice, all sorts of opportunities to fit your needs. 
Phase four will be finishing your master's degree. So you'll take a three credit master's elective to finish the degree. And again, I've got some examples of our nutrition focused courses here that you may choose from. You also may decide again that you want to do mental health counseling or healthcare management, depending on your career interests. All right, so last is track three, and this is going to be a little bit different from track one and track two. There's going to be less clinical hours to allow you one day a week to work on your research project for your thesis. So this is 40 credits total over 14 months. Again, everything is completed online, so you can be placed anywhere in the country. And yes, we can do research remotely as well, and, and we can um, have some talks about that. We've got some great projects available for that. And because you will have one day a week to focus on your um, thesis project, you'll do 1,024 clinical hours versus the 1,400 in track one and two. So similar to track one and two, you'll start with that boot camp. So you'll be ready and rearing to go for your rotations. Um, we get you used to the medical records, charting. We have an intensive lecture series um, as well. And then of course, you'll you'll also start that first summer with your online master's electives. And I have a list of some of the examples for our nutrition options here. You also may choose mental health counseling if you're really interested in, in let's say eating disorders or weight management, really wanna do a lot of outpatient, or maybe you're interested in leadership and wanna take a look at um, some healthcare management options. Phase two is community. And so this is a 16 week rotation, just like track one and two, but you're only going to do four days a week or 32 hours a week. And again, we generally do two sites, eight weeks each, but if you're like really love eating disorders or really love sports nutrition, and you want to do the full 16 weeks there, we can arrange for that as well. Um, again, we have inpatient and outpatient eating disorder clinic options. We work with um, D1 as well as professional sports teams for sports nutrition, um, Minnesota Vikings, Phoenix Suns, just to, to give some examples. Um, we also do have a final rotation option where you can travel to Spain and work with Olympic athletes there. That also co-counts as a graduate elective. Um, so kind of nice if you're in track two or three. Phase three is the MNT food service rotation. Again, 16 weeks, four days a week, 32 hours a week. And we combine MNT and food service because generally when you're doing your MNT at like a hospital or long-term care, there'll also be food service there for you to complete that. What that looks like is generally three days a week of MNT and one day a week of food service. Um, you don't just have to do inpatient at a hospital, though. You could do outpatient, long-term care, telehealth, private practice are all options for these rotations. And then phase four will be finishing up your master's with another elective. I've got some nutrition-related examples here, but again, you can also do um, classes from our mental health counseling program or our healthcare management program. So those are all of our tracks. I did want to um, share that financial aid can be applied to the entire internship. And because the entire internship, whether you're doing track one, two, or three, is at the graduate level, you um, start over with your financial aid, if you will. So if you used up all your financial aid in the undergrad, it starts over at the graduate level. And so um, most interns find that they can get enough financial aid um, to meet their needs and to cover um, the cost of the program. I have a link to our website here. And then I also have some important email addresses. I have my email address. I am the Dietetic Internship Program Director, Dr. Morgan Bathke. I have our clinical coordinator's email address, Jamie Weber. And then I have our graduate program director, Kelsey McLyman's um, email as well. She can help you create a sample schedule if you're interested in track two or three to see what your master's degree would look like. So with that, I wanna thank you for your interest in our program and don't hesitate to reach out with any questions or concerns.